protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com The story with Apple is something that we've been following for the past, I guess, couple of weeks now. Basically, uh, somebody tied to the San Bernardino shooter had a, a Apple phone, an iPhone. They said, Apple, we want you to unlock this phone. Or the Fed said this to Apple, and Apple said, no, we have encryption software and all this stuff, which I am kind of skeptical about because if you guys recall Edward Snowden in the uh, Prism documents, Apple is mentioned in that. So take all this with a grain of salt. But basically, Apple says, no, we're not going to unlock your phones because it just wasn't that one phone, as the FBI keeps touting. They also had several other phones or uh, various law enforcement agencies had various other phones. Like, hey, well, once you unlock that one, you have all your equipment out. Why don't you unlock these other ones as well? And it prompted a very slippery slope. And I am uh, I respect Apple for sticking to their guns on this one. And basically now Apple's lawyer is saying that if they lose, it could lead to a, quote, police state. And these were the words of Ted Olson as he spoke to CNN Money. And he says, uh, even if a state judge could order Apple to build something, there's no stopping point or there is no stopping point that would lead to a police state. And these guys recognize that they don't want a world where uh, just anybody can hack into your phone because, you know, they have a badge. Now, once again, you could make the argument that in the case of terrorism, they should make an exception each zone on that one. But I do respect them for sticking to their guns and also Libertarian candidate John McAfee says that he will unlock the phone in a way that does not compromise Apple and would also make the FBI happy. So there are other options out there available. And as we're talking about the police state, let's talk about the military state as comes to the Oscars. Now, if you guys recall, uh, you've seen the demand to plan videos, these uh, Oscar winners, these actors, uh, singers, all this stuff. They come out and they say, hey, we need a plan to end gun violence. And once again, I agree. I don't want, you know, somebody getting shot, you know, every weekend in Chicago, but I don't think disarming the citizenry is the way to go about it. But just to let you know, when you see these guys in the videos and all this stuff demand a plan, this is what they have to work with. Uh, Oscar security will be like a military state. And they're saying basically they don't have any credible threat, but they will have bomb sniffing dogs, bulletproof vests, tactical gear, and the most sophisticated surveillance equipment, keeping uh, the people safe at the Oscars. And this also dovetails with uh, the security they had at the Golden Globes, where, let's take a look at these photos here. Uh, they had heightened security at the Golden Globe because of terror attacks or whatever else. And there's one in particular. It's the guys on the red carpet with the dog. So when you go to the Golden Globes, you go to the Oscars, this is the type of security that they have, right? It is somebody's job to keep them safe at the Oscars. And I'm not talking about, you know, Paul Blart mall cop. I mean, they got full battle rattle guys ready to go if, lo and behold, ISIS shows up. Meanwhile, if you work at Piggly Wiggly and somebody comes in there with a shotgun, who's going to protect you? Nobody. That's why I am an advocate of the Second Amendment, so you at least have the option and the ability to defend yourself if somebody comes in there looking for trouble. Same thing with these congressmen, all the way down to the city councilors. They say, let's ban guns, let's ban this. They have somebody stationed, if not multiple people, stationed in those facilities whose job it is to protect them if something does go south. And our last story before we go into a special report from John Baum, the, the Missouri professor who pushed a reporter away and uh, was threatening the reporter has been fired from the University of Missouri. Me and Kit went to go interview her. Uh, not surprisingly, she was unavailable for comment. And I want to say, put on these glasses or start chewing concrete. I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubble gum. <laughs> Time to take a stand, boys. I'm Alex Jones, and like Rowdy Piper, I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick globalist butt. It's time for all of you, the Info Warriors, and myself included, to take our fight to the next level and to help the public put the sunglasses on. The metaphor for expanding your awareness, researching what's happening, and admitting that there's a global elite establishing a planetary tyranny. And I was just thinking about it today. It's leap year coming up on Monday. That only happens every four years at the end of February. And this is the best time ever to promote liberty and freedom everywhere. We got Super Tuesday coming up next week. And it's important for Americans to be involved in their political process but not just in the political process, in every action you take with what you talk about and uh, the products you buy and what you promote, you affect change in the world. 
We don't just vote at the ballot box. We vote with our dollars. We vote with our feet. We vote with our actions. And that's why for leap year, running from this Friday evening right through Monday evening, we're running the biggest sale in the history of 20 plus years of InfoWars and InfoWars.com. The leap year special only comes around every four years. 30% off all products at InfoWarsStore.com and free shipping on top of the discounts that are already there. This is a major loss leader with some of the products, but overall it will help us fund the InfoWars operation and get our reporters out there across the world covering what's happening. The planet is ready to wake up. People are ready for the truth. But to do that, those of you already awake have to redouble your efforts spreading the word and directing people to good sources of pro-human information like InfoWars.com, my syndicated radio show, The Nightly News, and more. I'll be back this Sunday live, 4 to 6 p.m. with The Sunday Radio Show as well. But in the meantime, take the time out to visit InfoWarsStore.com or InfoWarsLife.com to find the specific nutraceuticals and take advantage of the biggest specials yet on true game-changing products that are simply amazing. Like Survival Shield Nation I9X2. Most people are iodine deficient, and most iodine out there is bound to other compounds so you don't really absorb it. Our research shows this is the purest, strongest, most focused, good halogen ever. And what it does is simply amazing. Read the five-star reviews at InfoWarsLife.com today and take advantage of the biggest sale ever in InfoWars history. And on top of that, I finally want to thank all of you that have spread the word about the broadcast and that have supported us and our sponsors and bought the products at InfoWarsStore.com because without you, none of this would have been possible. My pledge to you is that I will keep the sunglasses on and this operation will be a sunglass factory in the metaphor uh, or the allegory of they live and that we will help humanity take the blinders off, come out of the cave and defeat this globalist system that's being constructed. Now back to InfoWars Nightly News and more. I'm Alex Jones. Take a stand, boys. You know what? You got a little courage. Stand up for yourself. Waging war on corruption. It's Alex Jones coming to you live from the front lines of the info war. The Oscar winners give a press conference and how to buy a sailboat as... Oh, 